Good morning, Wyoming! Hi, we're Laura and Brian. We're on a mission to check off our bucket list item of visiting all 50 states by 50. In each state, we'll spend at least four days where you'll see us visit state museums, capitals, state parks, and eat lots and lots of tasty food. For our third state, we'll be in Wyoming. from Yellowstone National Park. It is Monday, September 11th, 2023. It's before 8 a.m. in the morning. We had another early morning today, um, but we went to bed at like 9 p.m. So we still got over seven hours of sleep. So we feel much more rested today. Uh, we just got done walking around, um, what's this called? West Thumb Geysers. It was Thumb Geysers, which were really pretty and really cool. Um, yeah, we basically had the place to ourselves yeah. when we got here at 7. Uh, it's really cold, really it foggy. It is really cold. <laughs> um, the uh, drive-in was pretty frozen. pretty long because of that. But, but we saw a fox. And a deer. And a deer. And we saw some deer along the lake side here. That was mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, so yeah, so now we're just going to go hang out in Yellowstone for the rest of the day. We are currently about to head to Old Faithful, which I am really looking forward to. I'll be surprised if this is not my favorite thing in Yellowstone, which everyone says that, but I mean, it just looks so cool. Um, but hopefully it's not too crowded there. We're going to try to beat the crowds, so fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, we're going to get this day started. Let's do it. Let's go.
Hey guys, we just finished eating our picnic lunch here at, um... I don't know where we are, to be honest. Okay, well, Whiskey Flats, I think. Yeah, Whiskey Flats. It was not where we planned to have our picnic lunch, um, because where we planned to have our picnic lunch, there were tons of people, and parking was way down the road and there was construction and it was one lane only and it was kind of an ordeal so we just kept driving until we found this picnic table and it ended up being perfect actually so we had a nice huckleberry jam and peanut butter sandwich with a view um you can't complain no it's beautiful complain. so this morning we went to old faithful and i really liked it so if you take away all the people and you're just looking at old faithful i mean it's incredible that something like that actually exists yeah it's awesome i mean i don't know it was fun i really enjoyed it um but yeah there's there's a lot of people there and they're talking while it's going off and it kind of takes away from the moment makes you feel like you're Um, at the the bellagio in las vegas just watching the fountain show but if you sit there and disconnect from everybody around you it's worth it yeah um it was still cool i I would still say it's a musty like you have to see old faithful when you're in yellowstone um i will say get there early (laughs) (laughs) because we got there at 8 30 and it went off at 9 20 and um we had parking but when we left around noon there were no parking um parking spots so yeah um yeah so now we are going to the grand prismatic Mm-hmm. We're going to try to get there at least. Yeah. Um, we're we have gonna... to walk from here because there's nowhere to park. Yeah, there's no parking. So um, we got to walk about a half mile to get there. We hear that it's worth it, so we're going to try it out. And then we are going to, where are we going? Norris Geyser Basin, I think. Norris Geyser Basin. Um, which hopefully we can get parking there. We'll see. Yeah. That seems to be the question of Yellowstone. Yeah. Will we get parking? Um, And then we will eat a picnic supper, which has been great, by the way. Bring your picnic, lunch, eat at a picnic table um, is probably going to be a lot better than going somewhere and getting food. I can't say that because we haven't (laughs) went and got food, but I just kind of feel like um, that's your best option. Anyways, after all of that, we are going to drive to our lodge it's called a lodge uh i think it's more like a cabin but um it's about halfway in between here and cody between yellowstone and cody yeah yeah we'll go Um, at the the east yellowstone exit yeah so it's a little bit of a drive um but yeah that's all we got planned for today so let's get to it do it
today. <laughs> what a day indeed. It has been a very long and exhausting day, but a day full of beauty and fun. Traffic. And, tra- and traffic. <laughs> There's so much traffic. So here's the thing. Everyone says go in September because it's not as busy. And we're just wondering how busy it is during June and July and August that this is not very much traffic because <laughs> there's tons of traffic. Yeah. I don't understand. It, I mean, it's just like backed up everywhere. Um, so, I mean, like you have this like beautiful view and then there's just like traffic jam. <laughs> um, yeah, any of the big things you want to see, it's just, it's crazy. Yeah, you really want to get, if there's anything that you really want to see or really want to do, get there early in the morning. For me, my biggest regret for the day was not going to Grand Prismatic Overlook and hiking to the top early in the morning so that you could look down. Um, Because I think it's really pretty looking down because you can see all the colors. Um, But, yeah, that's okay. We saw it up close. And we still got to it. Yeah, we still got to it. We still got to see it. And I got a couple cool pictures. So I can't complain. But if I did it different, I would do that first. And then head straight to Old Faithful. Yeah, and if you're going to Mystic Falls, don't right now. (laughs) Go early because it's right in one lane construction. And it's wild. Yeah, the traffic is... Is, um... Um, it's... An adventure, we'll say that. But let's not focus on the negative, right? Yeah. Let's focus on the positive. So what was your favorite thing that we did today? Top number one thing. I'm going to say my top two. Because I'll, okay. Well, I, I'll let you say your first one. And then I'll say my top two. Turn left. Uh, my first one, top, is probably West Thumb. Because we had it all to ourselves. It was really foggy and moody. And I like that. We saw some deer. I, I don't know. It, it just like set the tone for the day, and I really liked it. Yeah. So West Thumb was probably the best overall thing that we did today. But my favorite single thing was Old Faithful. I don't know. It was just a lot of fun. Um, but like I said earlier, the people kind of took away from that. Uh, but I mean it's popular and there's a reason why it's popular and that's okay so old faithful is probably number one but west thumb as an overall experience is probably number one <laughs> two number ones that's okay what was your second my second one was that virginia canyon like car trail we just took out of nowhere um it was just beautiful and we had it mostly to ourselves uh just wound around this canyon it went to some falls and a really pretty spring and we knew nothing about it and weren't expecting much from it i mean we literally saw a sign and we just went oh yeah yeah, let's do this um because we kind of skipped some of our hikes that we had planned um just because of how crowded they were um but yeah so it was a really good day plans for tomorrow are to be in yellowstone again a whole day of yellowstone we are going to go to Lamar Valley in the morning, which is, what do they call it? Um, Serengeti, the American Serengeti, I think is what they call it. Basically, it's supposed to be a lot of wildlife, and we're going to try to get there early, so maybe we'll see a wolf. Um, Yeah, that would be really cool. Or a bear, we still haven't saw a bear. Um, What wildlife have we seen today? Bison. Fox. Fox. Um, Mar- deer. Mar- Marmot. 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 I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Marmot. Marmot. Yeah. Tell us some comments, but do it nicely. <laughs> um, what else have we seen? A lot of geese. Holy crap. There's so geese. So many there's geese, geese right here. There's geese right there, literally off the side you of You think? Them. And they're big too. So you think, oh, what is that? And it's like, oh, it's a goose. Which is fine. They're cute. But you think that's going to be like a prom corn or something way in the distance and you like get in the binoculars it's like oh it's a goose um anyways though after lamar valley we are doing mammoth springs, mammoth springs. Uh, we'll hit 
Tower Junction first, and we'll do some falls around there. I can't remember the name of But we will tell you tomorrow. I guarantee yeah. it. Uh, the Tower Junction, then Mammoth Springs, and then, yeah, that's about it for that day. Yeah. So, hoping the crowds aren't as um, big tomorrow, since we'll be in a different part of Yellowstone. Uh, but we'll see. You know, either way, it'll be a good day. I'm sure of it. Right now, we are headed to the place that we're staying tonight, which is towards Cody, Wyoming. It's about 45 minutes, hour away from where we were hanging out today. Uh, so it's a little bit of distance away, but not too bad. And we don't have to pay the crazy prices that Yellowstone has. But even if we did want to play the crazy prices, we couldn't because we booked our trip like two months ago and they fill up really quickly. <laughs> um, so anyways, no complaints here. So our plan for the evening is to check in to our cabin and yeah, Relax. just yeah, probably go to sleep actually. <laughs> we'll probably just fall asleep um, if we're being honest. Um, so yeah, I bison. Oh yeah, it's a bison. And we're always looking for wildlife. Always look for wildlife. Keep your eyes on the road and the wildlife. <laughs> and the wildlife. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to know more details about this trip, then you should check out my blog. I'll go into all the details of it, every place that we went, all the food that we ate, and how much we spent on this trip. Um, so be sure to check that out. Again, thanks for watching, and until next time, bon appetit and bon voyage. Yeehaw! That's my go. Oh wait, catchphrase.